As a sportsman, King Edward was not only expert himself, but also gave his royal patronage to most branches of sport. As Prince of Wales, he visited the Cup Final at Wembley last year, between Sheffield Wednesday and West Bromwich, and watched the remarkable game in which Sheffield won the Cup, scoring their last two goals a few minutes before the close. The result, you may remember, was 4-2. With a keen desire to be among his people at play as well as at work, the Prince journeyed to Gosforth to receive the British Legion's footballers. And as you can see, it was a very happy occasion. And not only men, but children. It was an unforgettable day for thousands of London boys and girls when the Prince visited a school sports carnival at Stamford Bridge. Yes, and shook hands with some of the proud young footballers before he kicked off. His fine sporting instinct was revealed also when he threw the ball in at the historic Shrove Tide football match at Ashbourne in Derbyshire. The players, of course, threw everything else in as well. Then there was that awful job, as the Prince afterwards described it, of playing himself in as captain of the Royal and Ancient Golf Club at St Andrews. As a horseman, the future King Edward was particularly active. He was especially fond of jumping, and previous tumbles seemed to make him all the keener. First slow motion pictures ever taken of His Royal Highness show him clearing a hedge in great style. In the Welsh Guards Challenge Cup at Hawthorne Hill, the Prince fell rather badly, but he pluckily remounted and was soon riding hard again. Though he lost the race, his indomitable spirit won for him an even greater regard. His luck changed at the Beaufort point-to-point -point races when riding his own horse, De Gom. In spite of that animal's weakness for throwing his rider in the hunting field, the prince cantered home to win by a big margin.